keep it all blog free. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's a bit of a diabolical session so far. Me and Rob have turned up this morning about 7 in the morning. The clocks went forward last night. So really about 6. There was a load of people on here already. It was fine yesterday. We walked around here yesterday and it was fine. And Got here this morning the whole lake is caked in ice. So we've sat on it thinking it's going to thaw. The sun was out earlier and it was so bright and it was hot and it was it was going, it was going and now it's just clouded over. And if I can show you, <laughs> Rob's having a whale of a time over there. He's managed to get his lead stuck in the ice. <laughs> but he's, oh, he's got it. Have you got it? No. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically, look. It's still thawing, but it's not good. But yeah, we're in a bit of a dilemma at the minute. It's whether or not to stay down. It's going to be again minus four tonight, so it's going to thaw over again. So it's going to freeze over again, sorry. So all I can do at the moment is fish to the areas that I can actually get to, which is not far out to be honest. Now, there's been people fishing the other side and they've been here for four days, they haven't had anything carp wise. Cut the bream out. Guy down, a bit further down the bank, he's had a, a bream. Guy to the left of me, left early, he's had a bream. I've just got a cold. Yeah, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it an hour or so, see what happens, and then uh, assess the situation. It's only going to get worse. So I'll get back to you, and it's going to be a short vlog, unfortunately. I'll get back to you soon anyway. See you later. Right, people, it's decision time. Uh, we've whacked a few leads about and we've split the ice up a bit. Now over the back there by the uh, big island, over that way, you can see that it's clear all the way to the other side. Now this ice is moving in front of us from left to right, but the wind's taking it down. So I'm hoping in an hour this whole bit here is going to be clear. So I'm going to keep lobbing my lead about, trying to break it up as much as I can. And hopefully, hopefully within the next hour or so, I might be able to get my bait where I want to get it. Fingers crossed, and I'll keep you updated. Maybe uh, fish on the bait. Oh, it's hard work, though, I tell you. It's probably butter beans out here as well. It's freezing. Birds are moving as well, Rob. back the ice is all gone the sun is shining and the baits are in position so yeah I'm gonna sit it out tonight and uh, yeah finally it's uh, nearly two o'clock finally we can get fishing so yeah uh, it's basically like start again isn't it um, I'll get back to you in a little while and go through what baits I'm using what rigs I'm using what I'm doing and everything else so uh, yeah sort my stuff out and I'll uh, be back with you. Cheers. Alright people, welcome back. So it's about six o'clock. We finally got the rod sorted. No ice anymore. Uh, single up baits. This is, this is what I'm doing. I've got three rods, chucked about 130 yards towards the island. I've had a lot of fish off doing the same method as I'm doing today. The only thing different is slightly different at lengths, slightly different baits, slightly different presentation. Pardon me. So I just had a ba uh, Bombay bad boy uh, pot noodle, which the missus decided to get me. Hot. Anyway, uh, so yeah looking good to be honest it's not as cold as it was so I'm going to sit on the three rods tonight it's a bit hard for me to get any bait out there being 130 yards out 
I could go around the other side and try and um, <coughs> use the stick to get some baits out. I did want to get quite a bit of bait out, and that's what I was going to do while Rob was here. But now Rob's gone home. Don't do that later. He's gone home, so yeah, I don't really want to leave my stuff around here and walk around the other side because I'll come back and it'll all be gone. Some pikey will lick it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit on single hook baits, which I've basically got the Nash, the new Nash Purple Monsters. I'm using a Stanley blade, I've sliced two thirds of the way off of it. And I'll put a main line high vis tutti frutti pop up on the top, which is also purple. A bit of colour, a bit of flavour. Mixing it up a bit, which is also going to make the bait a bit of a wafter. It's going to float about a bit, it's a bit critically balanced. So. Yeah, and uh, like I say, hopefully we get one or two out. I'm just looking for one fish tonight, being all that's happened today with the weather. Pardon me, with the weather, with the ice. I'm the only one on here apart from one bloke who's just turned up. Um, nah, he's fishing two free swims up from me. So yeah, mate, I might have someone to have a little chitty chat to in a bit. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll get some fish on the bank. Uh, tomorrow it's, it's, it's supposed to be sunny, uh, and if it is, then I might I might stick some three foot jigs on. If it, as long as it's sunny and it ain't frozen, and we'll see what happens. But I do want to I do want to try try the zigs out tomorrow. So if that sun gets on it early enough, I might get the fish moving about. I might get them you know just off the bottom. So maybe try a three foot. What happens about six foot when I'm fishing over there. Um, mid water, see what happens, and there uh, we can always chop and change. I might stick one rod on two and a half, one on four, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, get the bed, get the bed sorted. And yeah, um, I did want to jump onto pines, but it still being a bit cold, being March, supposed to be about 15, 16 maybe. The site's still a bit boggy. It's a bit bogged down. Plus, with me not having a car at the minute, it's a bit hard to get down there. I will get down there and I will do a proper, proper session down there. But, like I say, we're down on first and Milton Keynes NKAA, so we'll see what happens. No, nothing's come out of here for four days, apparently. So, um, the guy that came up here the other day, he had two out during the week. So, just hope it all goes to plan and like I say pretty much start the session now with all the ice so I'll keep you updated and uh, yeah see you all in a bit on it yesterday. Proper killed it off because I didn't even add bream or anything. Uh, I tried to put bigger baits on to stay away from the bream anyway, but yeah, not even a, a couple of knocks on the middle rod, but more than likely bream, but you know, big hook bait so they can't get hooked hopefully, but I don't know. As always next time. I'm going to call it a day. It's a short blog, no fish. Loads of ice, very cold, and a miserable fusion car park. Get home and have a bath, roast dinner, watch the football. Yeah, and I'll uh, say I, I'm out um, next what is it, next week, 13th of March, April, sorry, 13th of April I'm out next day. I'm going up to Scumfort, which is a big old lake up there. I might, I might even pike fish it one rod during the day I'm not sure yet I have to wait because I've never been there so I'll have a look when I get there but that'll be blog 4 hopefully so yeah nice thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you on the next one see you later